cameraman, huh? because they had already an interview. And now I have to say, uh, answer the same questions again. Different questions. Different, oh God, worse. Yeah, it cannot. It never gets better. Sky cameraman's already Huh? How did you get down here? <laughs> have a lot of camera. Uh, a lot of camera. Oh, oh my God. Obviously, a lot in the build up to this has been made of what Trent Alexander Arnold had to say. I just wonder what's your take on, on what's been said? <laughs> um. I had, a few, I had a few people talk to, spoke to me about it, and told me what I what I should say and what I'm not saying. I said, "Baby, come on, you have to wait until I answer." <laughs> if you are, oh, wait. I'm not sure how often in this club we have to to say that you know how much we respect the opponent. In this case, our city. How often we have to say and mean it. Pep is the best manager in the world. I have no problem. I have a really good life with being not even close to that. It's absolutely fine, believe it. Um, they have incredible players. And in the moment, they have probably the best number nine, Haaland. Scores like he wants. Kevin De Bruyne will, will go down in history as uh, there will be in the end of discussion if it's was it Steven Gerrard still or is it Kevin De Bruyne and stuff like this. And imagine coming, getting in this conversation. Um, they have. So many. Phil Foden, um, best English player in the moment, probably, and all these kind of. It's all there, and we all we all respect it, and Trent respects it. But he's born in Liverpool. He stood on the bins before he played for the club. He played through all youth teams. And youth, youth. What would you think in that situation? One of our slogans, what I love, is, is this means more, and it means more to us. We have no clue exactly what 100% what it means to other people, but what happens here means more. To us, we had two years ago a parade after winning the League Cup and FA Cup, losing the Champions League final the night before, losing the league for a point. Tell me a city where you have a parade and it looks like we won all these trophies with, without having them. That's the, the club is special to us. If it's not special to other people, I cannot change that. But that when we feel it like that, why shouldn't we be allowed to say it? So then you can start discussing, honestly. I, do, I couldn't. I, I use already words I should not use. And it's live here, so I cannot use them. But I, I, I'm not really interested. Um, it's just how, how, how he feels and how we feel, and I have absolutely no problem with that. And I'm pretty sure I, I, I didn't read it. I just got told what, 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 what <laughs> you will ask me. Um, I'm pretty sure he showed he told his respect as well. In the last decade, Man City is the most successful football club in England, definitely, and maybe in Europe. And they could have won the Champions League more often for some reason they didn't. But in, in England, it's ridiculous the record they have. Ridiculous. So, and it means a lot to them, to their to their people, I'm sure. But for us, maybe it's just for the fact that we didn't win that many. It's possible as well. Um we are not in the situation winning five games, in, uh, five league titles in a row, and then realizing number six, number five was better. We never had that situation, so we don't know 100%. That that's clear, but that's it. So you love these kind of interviews where somebody says what he thinks, and then the whole world tells you that's not right. What do you think? As long as these kind of things, it's still allowed. That we think what we want. Um, there are other people out there. Obviously, they think much worse things, and um, we should talk more about that. Probably how wrong that is, but nothing wrong with what Trent said, to be honest, from my point of view. It feels like there's so much surrounding this game, though, as well, because we you speak about yourself facing Pep potentially for the last time. Obviously, in the context of the title race, it's a big game as well. How does it feel in the moment? How does it feel? Big game. City games, big games, always, were always, will probably always be. Um, <laughs> title race decider. <laughs> I don't know who brought that up. I think that's really early. Eh? If you went, go through all the, the different the possible scenarios, and then I don't think after whatever result, anybody should open the bottles of champagne 
It's, uh, it is uh, nothing happened then, but it's three points. It's a massive, the it's an incredible strong opponent. Um, so we we don't hide that we want to win want to win that game, um, but with knowing how difficult it is, but. That's it, pretty much. So um, it's it's a big game. I understand that 100, and we are really excited about the fact that we are part of it. How how are you looking squad wise as well? Obviously, Mo was able to get minutes against Sparta Prague, but Kanate went off with an injury. How is he? Is he likely to be available? And Joe Gomez as well going off at half time. Although was that just a, a case of keeping him fresh? Yeah, not keeping him fresh, but Joe is fine. Um, and Ibu, I don't know. I don't know. Ibu was rather positive last night. He thought he he um, made the right decision at the right moment. Saying, no, it's better I, I, I go, but how we know um, that doesn't mean a lot, unfortunately. So, but I, we don't have to. He will get scanned definitely, and um, so we. But uh, so far, I don't have the, the results of that. Um, yeah, and all the others. Are fine. Yeah. No sharp. No sharp is can he be after? Yeah, yeah, more more is nothing. Uh, so he's fine. Hi. Um, Hi. Against the opponents of, of this quality, I wonder how big the Anfield factor could be. Yeah. <laughs> Do I have to tell that? <laughs> okay. Uh yeah, Anfield has from time to time a real impact on our game. <laughs> uh yeah. Come on. Atmosphere in the stadium. The, the the atmosphere that people our people can create. Uh, am I allowed to say that second to none, or is then anybody offended by that? <laughs> it's really good, huh? and energizing, massive, and these are the games you you want to. You want to play, these are the games you want to get the ticket in the stadium, these are the games you want to watch, these are the, this is a very special game. And yes, an Enfield is for us a massive, massive factor. Uh, and it would be a bit embarrassing if I would say today, please help us. People will. I think also battles between Pep City and your Liverpool thrilled Premier League audiences pretty much the whole time you've, you've been here. And I just wonder, has it felt like an epic rivalry? Is it something you've enjoyed? Yeah, not not. I don't feel it as a rivalry. It's like I understand that that, that that you call it like that, but it's it's not. There's not no rivalry. We just try. We are both pretty competitive. We both want to win football games. We both are blessed with having really good players in our teams, um, and that's it pretty much. Um, and but it's not a rivalry. So we have said it. Before, we will definitely, if we meet in the future, it will be full of respect. And so far, we had no, we had not opportunity to to meet each other more often. But I think I said it often enough how much I respect him, uh, and we would have a lot to talk about, <laughs> definitely. Um, so that's all fine. But on Sunday, it's not about me. Having that opportunity last time, it's anyway not sure because maybe in the FA Cup, for that we have to get through the next round, uh, we could meet again. Um, but uh, it's just a. I, I don't know who's playing on that weekend uh, in, in other leagues in, in the world, to be honest, but I probably, it's probably the game of the weekend and of, of Sunday. And um, so that's, that's being, being able to. To be part of that is is is, is massive and, and fantastic for everybody. So now we have a couple of players in the team that didn't play these kind of games now, twenty times. But the excitement they have for it is uh, is pretty special. So yeah, we we want to give it a try. That's all we can do. We, we never could do more, um, and we do it with our tools. So let's see what we can make of it. Hi Jürgen, Hi. Um, these are generally really intensive battles between you and City and I'm sure Sunday will, will be no different. Lots of, of personal battles as well and you've got probably the greatest striker in the world at the moment, certainly one of them in Erling Haaland versus one of the greatest defenders 
in the world in Virgil van Dijk. How much do you think that personal battle can can go towards the, the eventual outcome? If you, if you watch the, the movement of, of, of Erling Haaland, he's incredibly smart, bringing himself in a position so he has no battles with one defender, he has battles with different defenders in, a, in the last line, so he has, um, he's smart enough to not be around all the time the one the defender he might consider as the, <laughs> the best one or not, whatever. He, um, yeah, but it's 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 really. I and again, I understand that. But it's uh, football it doesn't work like that anymore. The times of man. I thought actually they were gone, but they're, it's coming up again. Uh, but um, you have to. Def we have to defend City. If we, if we, if Virgil van Dijk would be able to nullify Haaland, yeah, then Foden fires the ball from 30 yards in the far corner, um, and uh, or, or, or Kevin De Bruyne is doing exactly the same, or. or or Rodri is arriving for whatever, um, or Bernardo Silva is doing this. It's just not possible to 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 just say virtual against Haaland. Yes, of course. If if Haaland is not scoring, then that's good. But they have enough other options to do that. So um, then, then Akanji after a set piece, um, or all these kind of things. So that's it, you can't just not play like that. I, mean, I don't think a second about that that they play against each other. There are moments definitely where that will happen, 100 percent, and hopefully we will be at the better end of that. Um, but it's uh, for this football game is about so many aspects, so many aspects, and we have around about 48 hours. To prepare for it, and that's what we do. We try to give the boys the right information. To I'm very excited about the about the game, and that we that we can play it, and that we can play it in the situation we are in. Um, it's much better than we, in other situations we had before. So we know we are good. We know the opponent is really good, and now let's play the game. If you look at your results the past few months or so, and and what you've achieved, and, and the wins, the late goals, the decided games, and the injury problems, and the youngsters. How much does that kind of indicate that, that maybe this group, not just Liverpool 2.0, as you said earlier on the season, but are these the mentality monsters 2.0? <laughs> Boy showed an exceptional mentality throughout the season. It started with red cards. Strange red cards we got early in the season, playing with ten men, winning the game, stuff like this. And then crazy injury situation, which we are still in, eh? so we're still in, and it's 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 really tough. But the boys, it showed yes, it showed fantastic. The boys showed an incredible mentality, and I'm really happy with that. But we will see how the, 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 this, the, this is now the, this, the decisive part of the season so showing until early march great mentality you don't even qualify for international football with that if you would stop it now no oh, it's just you have to keep doing it for the whole year and then we can talk about that for the whole season and we can talk about that but it's um so far so good and now let's go from here Are you again? Uh, you Hi. Talk about yes not the first time, by the way. You can read old articles about it, probably. Can you say what one of the main things is you admire about him? The way he influenced football. He says that, the way he influenced football. Then winning the amount of trophies he won in his career, what you feel like when you see him on the touchline, or uh, he behaves like you've never won anything before, so like the desire. He has. That's absolutely um, outstanding. He's outstanding in so many aspects. I, I, I know that. I, I, I do the job myself, so I, I, I see excellence when I face it, and Pep is definitely that. So it's just he did so many different things over the years he did with his teams. Always possession based, obviously. But even as, if necessary, he, he plays long balls, like starts all of a sudden doing that, bringing Ederson in years ago, 
and all of a sudden Aguero waits 20 yards in the in the others on the on the other half and you think oh it's dealing with that. and then the fires the ball there and you think okay that's difficult to defend now <laughs> and then the next challenge so it's so many different things he did over the years it's um yeah he's i don't know how can i could i judge um managers from the past but in my lifetime he's the the outstanding manager definitely I was I was never frustrated because of that. I I knew. I don't know them, but I I I knew around about three thousand footballers who were better than me and still loved the game. So and all the others who were better than me, I didn't know. <laughs> so that, um, I have no problem with that. Absolutely not. No, that never frustrated me, and maybe definitely a better manager to find solutions again. These teams who win these games, in this moment, I got, just got told now um, I have a positive record against Pep. I have no clue how that happened, to be honest. Um, but um, it is all fine. I, I know I'm quite good at what I'm doing as well. It's not that I, I don't want to sound like somebody. Who's, oh my God, I'm happy to be here and be that I can face these kind of. Things. I know I, I'm, I'm not bad, but we ask me about the best, and for me, he's the best. Bam. So that's it. That's why I say it. There's nothing to do with me. We face twice or three times or four times a year. That's it. All the other time I do the job without facing Pep Guardiola, which is quite good, to be honest. Um, so it's all fine. So why, why is he better than you? Because he's had advantages that you've got in terms of working for the biggest risk of buying anything once it's in Barcelona. Well, it's, it's much too detailed now. I, just, uh, I think he's... I, I cannot say what he, where, where he's better than me. You just see how his teams are playing. So there might be areas where I could be better than Pep. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I, I cannot make these differences now. But he, the way, if you look at the way he plays, if it's probably a question of taste. There might be people out there that love the way we play over the years more than the way they play. But I love it more, for example. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we would play differently. Um, but um, it's it's just it's just an easy observation for me from the outside, without knowing the details about it. Any more for the for the breakers? Just just one, uh, obviously obviously a doubt on on Canate. So if that was to to lead to Jarrell starting, just a, you know, a year ago he was at Bristol Rovers. Just a, a reflection, really, on. How far he's come that you could sort of Yeah, massive, massive. Massive. Development, massive. Yeah, he's, he, he just stepped up. So he came back, and um, it was not that everybody in the club was now, yeah, and he will be the next one. Um, it, it, we knew he's a real talent. He knew us massive strength, especially on the ball, stuff like this. But how will he deal with the next quality? Premier League strikers, how is that physically, stuff like this. So we, we, we wanted to give him the, us the chance and him the time to show that. Um, and we thought that the situation in the squad is right to do so. Uh, we had that time, if, if you want, send half number five in that moment. So it was not immediately planned as, as a right or left back um, backup because we had obviously Connor who got then injured. I mean, the two left backs, so it wasn't necessary. So we thought that's a good situation to have a look. But then he showed immediately he wants to, he wants not to be part of the team. He wants to be in the team and in each session. And it's a joy, a pure joy, to have him. Oh, that's it.